Hey travel friends, today we're going to be talking about the things to know when wine tasting in Paso Robles. First up, we're going to talk about price. On average, your wine tastings are anywhere from $20 to $40 per tasting. Some experiences can definitely be higher. And then on average, you're going to get four to six pours for that. Most of the ones that we went to were about $25 per person. So I think that's that's a good ballpark for you guys to expect. And on that note, you can also split a tasting. Not everyone can handle that many wine tastings per day. So a tip that we utilized a lot is splitting wine tasting. You know, it, it may seem a little weird, but I don't think anyone should feel weird about doing it. And obviously these establishments are sort of used to this. No shame, no shame in the split game. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about are sort of like the different types of tastings or tasting places that you guys can go to. Mm -hmm. So one is estates, right? These are usually like the places that have tasting rooms on the land that they grow the grapes and make the wine, right? And these are generally probably more popular and more well-known. Mm -hmm. And you kind of usually have to drive a bit to, to get to them, right? Because they're chunks of land. I think the benefits of these is that the, the vibe is yeah. usually more there, right? You're like drinking amongst the grapes. Another advantage of these estates is that you can schedule tours of the vineyards and they'll take you around show you the grapes and talk to you more about the wine making process. The other type of wine tasting that you can do will happen at tasting rooms. Sometimes they have a tasting room because their vineyard is very small and they don't have the ability to have a tasting room on site. You can go to tasting rooms that are kind of clustered together so then you're just walking right. and it's also a safer way to indulge. Yeah. Downtown Paso Robles has quite a few tasting rooms. Mm -hmm. So you can just like walk around downtown and do a couple tastings. This other place called Tin City also has quite a few tasting rooms in very close walking distance to each other that you can try. So we really enjoyed this. Uh, we did the estates, which was great, but also these tasting rooms, they're very modern, right? That right. you have air conditioning. Yeah which is very nice in the summer. The other thing that's great about tasting rooms is a lot of these tasting rooms are actually smaller vineyards. And I felt like the, the smaller wineries tend to be a little bit more creative, a little offbeat, a little bit more funky. Very, Experiment a little bit more with yeah, their wines. Yeah, very, very, very fun. So if you're gonna be wine tasting in the Central Coast, that includes Paso Robles as well as the surrounding areas, we recently found out a really great tip and trick, and it is the Central Coast Wine Passport. So this is a passport that you can purchase, and it gives you access to over 50 wineries where that purchase price includes a tasting. We'll link it so that you can take a look at it. It's for a full year, so whether you're doing multiple trips throughout the year or if it is a longer trip where you're gonna be hitting a lot of these wineries, the passport more than pays for itself. I think it's around the 70s, $80. And if you're looking at how much one wine tasting costs, you really just need to do three. Absurd deal, absurd value. We did not know about it when we started our trip. We only found out towards the end of it. But next time we go, this is a thing we're gonna do. If you only go to like three, it pays for itself. Mm -hmm. but. If you're there for a couple days, you're probably going to try to do a, a, quite a few more wine tastings. Mm -hmm. I would say that the only people who may not want the passport would be like if you had very specific wineries that you want to visit and those wineries are not included in the passport, then it might be not a, so much of a good deal for you. But I think for anyone else, if you're just like wide open to just trying different wineries, mm -hmm. like absurd deal. So Paso Robles has over 200, probably closer to 300 wineries there now. So this is a wine lover's like dream place. There are a lot of popular wineries there. And even if you're just a couple, you should make a reservation. So if you're planning to go to a very popular place, or if you have a large party, or probably if you're visiting during the weekend, mm. you know, especially 
you know, in high season, you really want to make reservations, especially if you're like driving quite a ways to get to a popular estate. Okay, so I think that wraps it up for this episode, guys. Hopefully we provide you guys with some helpful tips in planning your wine excursion and adventures in Paso Robles. Uh, please leave a comment below if we missed anything. Also, let us know your favorite wineries in Paso Robles so that we can like check those out next time we're up there. And um, till next time, yeah, happy travels. <laughs>